Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. It is hard to think of a more important light than a stage wash par. They can wash a dance floor, they can wash a stage performer, and they can even be used as up lights. And in addition to being incredibly useful, they are affordable and they are portable. And in fact, my first lighting purchase was stage wash pars. And it looked something like this. That was many years ago, but if you search on Amazon for par lights, par 36 lights, you're gonna find many models that have this appearance and design. And it's not necessarily a bad design, but today I'm gonna to be reviewing a new light from OPPSK, and it is a par light that features a new fresh design with improved color mixing capabilities. And so I'll be comparing these OPPSK stage wash pars to these generic ones. So you can pick up a two pack on Amazon for $48.99 and you can apply a 20% off coupon. So first I wanna talk about like the build comparison. Obviously there are some similarities. Both lights feature brackets, these metal brackets, these can be used to like mount this like on a T-bar or a truss or be used to position it like on the ground, like pointing up at an angle at a wall, like for up lighting. Notice that the OPPSK par has a bigger, longer bracket, which gives it an advantage and makes it easier to mount. And what's crazy is that I've owned many generic LED pars in my day and they all have had this shape. The back of this generic LED par has like a raised part in the middle and that is where you find like the controls as well as the DMX controls. It has 36 one watt LEDs that produce RGB. Just the shape of this OPPSK part is like very different. And it has like a nice metal texture to it. And the OPPSK stage part has like a smooth back where you'll find like the DMX input and output as well as the controls and your fixed power cable. But it has like a nice metal texture to it and it's like really firm and it feels really solid. And so operating these things is pretty easy. It has that four button LCD panel interface on the back of it and that's like pretty easy to control. And both sets of lights have everything you expect in like a part light. It has like a static color mode as well as like various auto modes like a fade, a color jump, a color pulse and also has sound active mode, and you even have like DMX mode. That is great. And so in addition to being able to control that with the back four button LCD panel, it comes with a remote control. So most of my generic LED parts have not come with a remote control. These particular ones do. I'm not gonna do an in-depth comparison. They basically both do the same thing. I will note that the OPPSK one does have cyan and the other one does not. So build quality is important. Operation is important, but what's most important is like, does it look good? Is this gonna like be a nice evenly mixed color on your dance floor or your stage performer or as an up light? So let's go ahead and do a test. So I just have these plugged in and I'm gonna test them against my backdrop right here. Okay, so on my left, I have the OPPSK PARs. On the right, I have the generic ones and they are all just going they're just cycling through some random auto modes. And so like they're about the same level of brightness. They both feature like the 36 one watt LEDs on the front, but like the color mixing is like the most important part. Like how do the colors look? So let's go ahead and test those like primary colors, red, blue, green. So yeah, the generic part doesn't have like cyan, but so look at how well these colors mix. Notice that there's 12 green and 12 blue that are on simultaneously. And lots of times with these generic pars, like when they are shining on something, you can see the differentiation between the blue. And I don't see any of that. I always see like cyan, which is really smooth, really nice color mixing. Okay, let's go ahead and mix red and blue for purple. And some of these differences are kind of hard to capture on camera. But again, I can see that the purple is really nice. There's really no differentiation of the color. Both these generic pars, like there's like sections that are like blue and red and you can really see the breakup. I've always felt like RGB has a really hard time with yellow. The OPPSK one is more vibrant and it's better mixed. And with the generic LED pars, you can really see like the highlights of green on the edges and that's less apparent with the OPPSK one. And let's do white, RGB all the way. And if you look on the left, I'm sure on camera it doesn't show up as white, but it looks really good. It's a really nice color of white. I mean, it's not as perfect as having like a white LED, but yeah, this is pretty darn good. 
There's many options that offer a really nice build quality and really nice color mixing if you're willing to spend a lot of money. But in the world of like affordable PARs and generic LED PARs, I feel like the OPPSK's new design offers a bold and innovative design that is made of plastic but has a really nice metallic feel to it. And that offers really nice color mixing that is present in like much more expensive lights. Yeah, so this is a really great buy that offers a lot of value for not a big price tag. And so these PARs are inexpensive and they have really good functionality. I have a link in the description below for these OPPSK36 PARs and you can check that out. And remember clicking on those links helps support this channel. So please smash like and subscribe. Please help this channel grow and I'll see you in the next video.